What's going on, Mini Rollers? If this is not your first time tuning in, welcome back. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, welcome. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. For this video, I'm gonna be configuring the 2020 Jaguar I-Pace. I like to do this thing where I do a one minute review on the car, and then I do a full review, and then I configure the car to my liking and tell you guys what options I will get on the car and what options I would not. So that's exactly what we're gonna do this video, and let's get started. All right guys, so I already have the page open on the Jaguar website, and I already clicked on build my Jaguar I-Pace so that way I could get started right away. And as you can see, there's already two options there to pick from. The regular I-Pace option and then the I-Pace first edition option. The difference between these two is that obviously the I-Pace is fully loaded. Just I mean, you can tell by the price point. It's fully loaded, it has a nicer wheels, it has a different headlights, power lift gate, for power folding mirrors that regular I-Pace does not have, right? So I'm just gonna go to build the regular I-Pace because I don't wanna get the first edition. So let's go with the regular I-Pace and select that bad boy right there. And now for the powertrain, it's the same thing for all the I-Paces, literally the same horsepower, 394 and 512 foot-pounds of torque, and it's all-wheel drive. So I'm just gonna select that guy and move forward. All right, so here is where it gets interesting. So, three different models for the Jaguar I-Pace. The S, the SE, and the HSE. So I think the biggest difference between these three models has to be the wheels and the headlights. So, for the S, you have like 18 inch spoke, 18 inch spoke wheels, which I don't like how they look at all. And the lights don't come with DRL, like the premium like DRL headlights from Jaguar. Also, the SE and HSE model, like I mentioned in my review, comes with the power lift gate and power folding mirrors standard. So I definitely want that in my car, so I'm either gonna go with the SE or the HSE. I think for like $6,000 more for HSE, to pay $80,000, you do get the better surround system for the HSE and uh, you know it's it's literally like you know 18 speakers <laughs> instead of 12 or 11 speakers in the SE so I don't really care about that music that much so I'm just gonna continue and I'm gonna select the SE model because it's also the one that I reviewed now for the colors I honestly like dark color on this car I think it's gonna look a little bit nicer than a light color. Although the color that I did have on the car that I reviewed, which was the Barasco Gray, that color was actually very nice in person. It doesn't look so nice here, but in person it looked very, very nice. But I'm not gonna pick that color. I think I'm gonna go with, uh, let's go with the black. Why not? I, li I like how the black looks. All right, so visual packs. Let's move on down here. All right, so for the visual packs, you get two different options, and one I think is not worth the money at all, and that is the carbon fiber option. The car is an SUV. I mean, some could argue that you could put a carbon fiber on an SUV, it's gonna look nicer, but I think for this car in particular, to spend $4,300 on the door cladding, the door mirror caps, the lower front blades, which are these little things right there, the lower rear blades, which, you know, once you flip the car around, you'll be able to see, but it's pretty much the same thing as the front bumper, but in the rear, and then the gloss black grille surround part in carbon fiber. I don't think it's worth it. I mean, this two, like the pieces are so small, and it's $4,000. It's not gonna give you any weight savings. I mean, it's gonna make the car look maybe a little bit nicer, but I'm okay. I'm just gonna go with the $170 option of blacking out some exterior pieces which is the window trim and that front grille like the surrounding part of the, of the front grille and let's just do it one more time that looks a lot better so i'm gonna stick with that part all right let's move on to the wheels so these are the wheels that it comes with standard on the se they're not too ugly but they're ugly so i think i'm gonna go with something black because 
black on black and the Jaguar logo in red. It's a very nice touch. Very, very nice touch. I don't like the 22 inch wheels. I mean, I think they look very tacky. Oof, that's, that's kind of tough. So I think I'm just going to stick with the black wheels to make the whole car flow black on black. I like that a lot. So let's move on to the interior. Interior, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of interior colors. I don't really care so much. But uh, I don't want to leave it black. So since the car is all black, I think it's going to already like have a lot of heat. So I think I'm going to go with the Mars red interior, which looks freaking phenomenal. Let's check this thing out. Look at that. Look at that. That looks so good. That looks so good. What a beaut. What a view. Red, those red seats. Oh, man. That's great. That looks great. Oh, and I, you know what? Let me do the outside because I didn't, I didn't do the, the exterior in black. Look at that. Black wheels, black grill insert, and the black window trim. Fantastic. That looks super nice. And, of course, I told you the little uh, wheel emblems or the logo for Jaguar in red was going to match something, and it did. It matched the real taillights, and that looks, that looks actually pretty awesome. Very nice. All right, so interior, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it like that with the red interior. I think it looks awesome. It matches very well, so I'm going to go to the next step. And the headlining. Nah, I don't care about any of this. I'm just going to leave the standard. Oh, I don't know about the light oyster. Ooh. Let's go black. Yeah, it looks better. Whoa. Oh, this is so distorted. Whoa. All right. Well, it looks kind of weird there, but hey, whatever. I'm going to go black, and it kind of makes the car look a little bit nicer in the inside. All right. Finishers. Let's see what finishers are. Oh, finishers. So I think this, this is what goes around the dash. And let's make sure that's true. Yep. So... Not that many changes. I mean, it's gonna surround like it's gonna go to the doors as well. Again, I don't really care for carbon fiber inside. It does look a little bit nicer, but I think just black, like plain black, is fine. So I'm gonna stick with that. I don't want to add any more to the price that I'm already paying, which is eighty-one thousand dollars. And for yeah, I'm not gonna do cloth steering wheel, so I'm just gonna keep this option. And I'm not gonna do heated steering wheel because. I live in Miami. If you guys want to do heated heat steering wheel, then it's only $250. Only. <laughs> Alright, so this car comes standard with the Meridian sound system. And this one is the 11 speaker and subwoofers. So, and 380 watts. So, I th when I was reviewing the car, I did pump the music. And it was a very good sound system. So, I don't think there's a need for me to upgrade to this sound system, which is the 825 watt one. Uh, I, I think I'm good. I don't want to add more money to or to what I'm already paying. It's only 450 bucks, so I mean, eh, nah, the, it's good enough. Driver display. Now the heads-up display was awesome. That that did come in the car that I reviewed, and I really liked it. And it's kind of just lets you drive and not have to focus on looking down, or it makes you not have to think about looking down. <laughs> you just look forward and see all the information there. It's great on the windshield. So I'm going to go there and uh, I think that is it. The driver assist pack, that's actually pretty cool. So, but it's $1,300. I think, hmm, I think I might do it. I think I might do it. Because it gives you a 360 surround camera. And that is awesome. Adaptive cru uh, cruise control. If you guys don't know what that is, it's when you put like the cruise control at 80 and the car in front of you is going like a 75, your car will detect the car in front of you and it'll slow down to 75. And if that car moves out of your way, then you'll go back up to 80 miles per hour. So if you get bumper to bumper traffic, your car should slow down and go with the traffic. And then if everybody moves out of the way, it'll go back up to 80 miles per hour by itself. So I think that's pretty cool. And yeah, I think I'm just going to stick with that. Exterior features, fog lights, I don't care, heated windshield, I, I mean what, I thought that would come with it, wheels and options, I already picked, oh yeah, spare wheel, <laughs> nope, 
Interior features. Four zone, nah, I don't care about that. The ambient interior lighting, I don't care about that. So as you guys can see, there's a bunch of different things that you can do here. So you guys can look at it, but I don't care about any of these options. So I'm just gonna move it aside and continue. Again, this thing, I mean, I don't care, man. I don't care about any other stuff. The surround camera, I already did it, which is great. And convenience, I don't know what that is. Power gesture tailgate. What is that? Uh, I'm good. All right, so that was pretty quick. And as you can see, my car is started at 75000 and with all the options, it went up to $83,000. And that's because of the wheels, the black exterior pack, and a few more options there that I put, which make the car look very nice. And I think this car does look very nice indeed with my spec. Um, there you go. Red guts and black exterior. I think like that looks awesome. It looks aggressive. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys uh, I know I didn't cover that much, but there's you know if you guys want to see more of what this car has to offer Just make sure you check out my review on the car it, There's a bunch of tech in this car and it comes standard with it So there's not that much else to add the only thing the things that I do like adding is literally the exterior features you know like the rims or the wheels and the window trim and, and sort of so I, I like making my cars look good so that's pretty much it. But yeah, just check out my previous my my review on this car. It, it was a great car. It's very fast. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.